Hello, <clears throat> uh, this tutorial is for this cute little uh, door hanger um, and it comes with loads of pretty bits. Uh, I've trimmed everything in advance so I can just go about uh, sticking and folding. Um, you can use it for different occasions. It comes uh, for Mother's Day, um, a birthday gift, just one that says please do not disturb. Hello gorgeous, boudoir, dream and loads of extra pretty stuff. So I'll start with a sticking and folding first so then we can add <clears throat> all the other bits um, together. These come on two separate uh, pages. You stick where one back, these back to back, and then we'll add pockets to each side. You can do this by hand as well, but <clears throat> this just makes a nicer crease. So. I've been asked by lovely Rita, <laughs> this is for you, me speaking here, um, to make tutorials while I'm speaking, so there you go. I'm just a little bit shy sometimes, or if the house is noisy and full with kids, then I try not to. And usually I do this over the weekend, so weekends are busy and noisy here. So that belongs to this, this comes with that. So when I trim all my the pieces, I am a, following the notes on the page and stick and, and a, keep them next to each other so I know which piece belongs to what. Sometimes I forget myself, so I am also have the files um, open in front of me uh, on the laptop so if I forget then I know um, what goes where. So that is a um, round envelope. There is a la I've printed it both sides um, so I put it through the printer once then put it back through the printer make make sure though that you're putting it the correct way because if you're using the cassette tray then different printers you do you you put it through different way rather than if you're using the top tray then you just turn it over and put it through so but you must know your printer so you know how to put it in your printer second time so that's one crease here, that's another one here, and there will be one here. And there is another one here, there is a light pink line here so you know where to do the crease. Too far in. I'm good now. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll do the sticking afterwards. Let me fix this one here. Okay. And 
and this then will go inside. <clears throat> there is another two folds to make here for this mini envelope and I kept the piece here that says backing for the mini envelope so I know what this piece is for. This piece will go here and this mini postcard will go inside and this bit I'm going to stick on top here. And there is this large envelope. This would be the backing piece, like this, and this bit will go inside. <coughs> and there is a pocket for this uh, large luggage tag. And I think I'm done with the folding, so I can start sticking. Starting with the pockets for the um, hanger, but I am going to stick these two first. If you would like this super thick, then um, you can just put a little, cut a little board and stick in between. But I've used 150 GSM, so having them stuck to each other, then it's quite thick enough. If you like, you can actually stitch these two pieces together. I might go over it with my sewing machine after that.
I'm probably going to I'm gonna probably make an extra one and I am going to add some lace here so it gives an extra volume um, so I will sew the, um, the lace first and then I'll stick it together okay so that's a bit done A little white piece. I'm just going to make sure that it's centered to the folds and it's covering this bit here. day in London. I live just outside London and the sun literally just now decided to say that we don't have it too often. So that's exciting. I'm just rounding the edges here. Just need a tiny bit of glue. You can go over the fold with a bit of stitching, it always looks extra nice. This is a backing piece for this little gift bag, not so little. <laughs> and I'm not going to cover all of it so I can have this little piece of card left because no one is going to see the back all the way down so I'm gonna trim it here just this bit here that needs extra glue the rest is fine
we nearly done with this. I'm just left with a mini envelope. This piece will go here and the postcard will go in there. And this bit we're just gonna stick through the pocket here. It will go inside so the envelope is gonna show through. You don't have to do it this way. <laughs> you can play with this as you like. But it's just a suggestion. Fingers are all sticky now. I might just go and give them a little wash. Okay. So I've got this in here. Just gonna round the corners a bit. I've got a small one. So it will create a small corner and the pink one it says large so it's a larger one used to get find these in hobby craft here in the uk can't find them anymore and they don't create the best crease any longer so i'm really looking after it what i do to make it uh, sharp again i just put a bit of silver foil in there i i fold it into few and i keep pressing and with the silver foil inside it just makes it sharper um, so this bit. Let's make this one. Oh no! Mm. That's not good. I'll clean it afterwards. I don't like it. Okay. I'll scrub it afterwards. Just ignore it. <laughs> okay, so this bit goes in here. And you have the envelope that goes inside as well. This needs to be creased. things to tuck in there are this large paper 
can just fold it and put it inside this the large pink envelope. Together with the other one. Can add bows here. This is just a tutorial, but when I make the actual final twist, I'll add all the extra bits to it. Punch hole, may add some um, ribbon buttons with this extra piece here from before. There's a, there's a mini stump here you can stick here. There's this extra paper here. Just going inside, yeah, this should fit inside. An extra stamp is an extra card. There is the heart. There is this big gift tag. Here it's a bookmark that says smile. So we'll put a ribbon through. There's an extra mini card and just choose for the gift you're making or if you're doing it for yourself. So if you have it in your bedroom on set. This is bothering me, so I'm hiding it for myself. <laughs> um, so I'm probably gonna do one for best mum ever for the sample. But if it was a birthday or just for a friend, there is a hello gorgeous here for the bedroom, there is the dream. You can have one on each side. I'm probably going to round the corners for this one. Add some lace and ribbon and sticky gems and pearls. Anything to make it extra pretty. So with the 3D stickers, I'm going to put something here and stick it. Same for this dream and to this I'm going to add some lace and button I will do an extra video when it's um, all finished I'm probably gonna add the ribbon here so when it sits on the door hanger then it will be and uh, there will be some fabrics uh, thank you for watching hope that's helpful